Now, to understand why Tantalum is nicknamed the Cursed Metal, we must begin with an ancient myth. Tantalum gets his name from Tantalus, a figure in Greek mythology. According to the legend, King Tantalus was condemned to an eternal punishment in the afterlife. He was made to stand in a pool of water beneath a fruit tree. Now, whenever he went down to drink, the water receded out of reach. When he reached up for the fruit, the branches lifted the tantalizing fruit away from him. He was forever thirsty and hungry, tormented by offerings just out of reach. It's from Tantalus's name that we get the word tantalize. His punishment was a curse of eternal temptation without satisfaction. When the element tantalum was discovered, the scientist who identified it saw a parallel with this myth. In 1802, a Swedish chemist named Anders Gustav Ekeberg found a new metal in some mineral ores. Now, this metal proved exceptionally difficult to dissolve in acid. No matter what he tried, the substance resisted drinking the acid, just like Tantalus could not drink the water in his punishment. Frustrated yet amused by this behavior, Ekeberg decided to name the element Tantalum, after the tormented Tantalus. Now, in Ekeberg's words, the metal showed an incapacity when immersed in acid to absorb any and be saturated, reminding him of Tantalus' ability to quench his thirst. In other words, Tantalum's oxide refused to yield to acids, a tantalizing problem for early chemists. This origin of the name gives Tantalum a somewhat cursed reputation. It's as if the metal itself was under a spell, stubbornly resisting attempts to be studied. The nickname, the cursed metal, also placed on Tantalus' story. He was a cursed figure, and so Tantalum carries the legacy of that curse in its name.